So uh, Checkmate 816 is uh, the first phase three randomized trial uh, comparing chemotherapy to chemoimmunotherapy for patients with operable uh, non-small cell lung cancer to report um, pathological complete response rates as well as uh, surgical outcomes. Um, the uh, outcomes for the pathological complete response rate, which was one of the two primary um, independent primary endpoints was strongly positive with an odds ratio of I think 13.9 for increased PCR, 24% in the intent to treat population versus uh, 2% in the chemo treated group. Um, and at ASCO uh, last week, we presented the uh, surgical results, uh, which I think were uh, very compelling. Uh, the main findings, um, focus on the feasibility of surgery. So the, the vast majority of patients in both cohorts were able to engage in neoadjuvant therapy. You know, over 90% in each cohort were able to complete um, the full course of neoadjuvant therapy. Um, and majority of patients made it on to surgery. Uh, what was interesting is that the surgical time for the patients treated with chemoimmunotherapy was um, what I think a clinically important difference of a little more than half an hour in surgical time, uh, less in the chemoimmunotherapy treated patients, which sort of indicates that perhaps the operations were um, more straightforward as a result of downstaging. Um, and I think that's further corroborated by um, the reduced rate of, of pneumonectomy in the patients treated with chemoimmunotherapy, which on its own is a very, very important outcome. Uh, because we know that pneumonectomy carries a, a much higher uh, morbidity and mortality than lobectomy. Uh, so that was also very important. Uh, we presented some pathological response uh, rates by stage. So the, the response rate were consistent across all stage designations included from 1B to 3A with a very significant improvement in pathological complete response uh, across those stage designations. Uh, the depth of pathological response was, was quite uh, impressive as well, um, with a median of, I think, only 28% residual uh, viable tumor in the, um, in the uh, chemoimmunotherapy group versus uh, the, in the 70s for the, for the chemo-treated group. And then when it comes to the adverse events, there really wasn't um, any signal to indicate that chemoimmunotherapy was conferring increased perioperative risk. Um, we did see that there appeared to be more uh, post-operative pain in the chemo-treated group, which goes back to the fact that a higher proportion of patients in the uh, chemo-treated cohort had a thoracotomy or a conversion from minimally invasive um, uh, technique to, to open technique, which uh, could explain these differences in pain.